I think everyone can appreciate um, the physical crisis that we're currently in. Money is a huge challenge. Um, the Army and the DOD, and traditionally we run on a three to five year technology refresh with traditional architecture. That doesn't work in commercial mobile. When we embrace commercial mobile, we embrace commercial technology. We embrace the commercial marketplace. Right. Okay, if you look at uh, where we're going, uh, tech refresh is six months to a year. Sure. Uh, if I operate in my current mode, my current operating environment, where I'm three to five years, you know, how old is an iPhone? How old is a right. Samsung? You know, I'm not even there yet. Mm -hmm. I can't even put those things on the table because of, because of my own processes. So I have to look at how do I do technology refresh? How do I do that? And how do I do it with the money that I have? Money is a critical factor right. in us moving forward. So not only do we embrace new technology, but I have to embrace it smartly and efficiently. How do I, and we, and then to make that happen, let's look at not the first order effect of how we're going to save money and gain efficiency. Look at the second and third order effect. Mm -hmm. You know, what does mobile allow me to do? Allows me to get out of the office. Allows me to work not in a, in a workspace. So 10% of the people don't have to work one day a week. You don't have one day paper, you don't have to work. That's 10% of your time you're not in the office. Could I cut 10% of my ecological footprint off. I don't need floor space for 10% of people. Look at what GSA's done in terms of their floor space. They've done some amazing things in terms of mobilizing the workforce. Yeah. We need. And I think